Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Stephen King review. This is not an episode of Thursday Theorist, uh, so I will not be talking about connections or anything like that. This is a spoiler-free review of The Drawing of the Three. Yeah. Uh, the Dark Tower Book Two. This is my second favorite in the Dark Tower series. One of the main reasons for that is we are introduced to my favorite character in the entirety of the Stephen King universe, Eddie Dean. Um, we're actually introduced to most of what comes to be known as the Cotet. Uh, the only two we are missing are introduced in the third book. So I don't want to give any spoilers there. Like I said, this is a spoiler-free review. Uh, there are some, there's some terrific, iconic scenes and scenarios in this book. Uh, the shootout at Balazar's, um, the, just the concept of the drawing from the doors, and the way this book uh, works as an introduction to the characters for, that you're going to be spending the majority of the time with throughout the series. Um, the whole Detta, Odetta, Susanna storyline in this one is one of my favorites also, not quite as much as the Eddie Dean storyline. I guess it'd be his origin story. Um, and they're not superheroes, but that's, you know, we find out where he comes from. We find out about his brother, Harry. Um, but the turmoil um, with and the racial discussion that King gets into with the Detta, Odetta, Roland, and Eddie uh, group is poignant. It's even in today's time there is something to be said and even with the final door there's even more to be said um, some like I said my favorite my my favorite scene in this one and probably most people's favorite scene in this one is the shootout at Balazar's um, that scene is perfect it's kinda like the shootout in Tull from the first book uh, the parts that I like in this series are the grand set pieces the grand battle sequences um, which makes me kind of uh, not really mourn for, but really pine for the uh, idea of Roland's last, you know, Roland's last battle. If you've read the series, uh, you know what I'm talking about, the Horn of Eld and all that stuff. Um, but I really wanted that, you know, you don't get that throughout the entire series. So um, I guess that's a little bit of a spoiler there, but I mean, it's telling you something that's not in it and not something that is in it. So, I mean, if you want to fuss at me, go ahead. But... The, the major draw of this, this world is the capability to travel to our reality or to, I guess, normal times. Um, there's a lot to be said for the different time frames that uh, Roland and different time frames that every character is from. You have Eddie from the 80s, uh, Detta from uh, the, the 60s, isn't it? Um, and then Roland is from Midworld, completely out of, you know, the time, our normal time. Um, one of the, one of my favorite conversations in here has to deal with Eddie calling, um, Detta, oh, Detta, uh, a black woman. And she said, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a racial slur where she comes from during her time. Uh, there's a, there's a lot of that in this book, a lot of stuff that King, you know, sprinkles in here and there. Um, a lot of stuff that people complain about him doing nowadays, um, as if it's something new that he has always done, whether it be, uh, just talking about society in general or politics or whatever, um, he tackles certain tough subjects, like in It, he tackles the, uh, the homophobia of the 80s in a certain scene on, a, on the bridge, um, which is also another one of my favorite scenes. He's always been like this. He's always done that, and that's one of the things that I respect about him. Uh, but overall, the book is just a whole lot of fun. There is not a wasted moment. There's not a wasted word. It is great from beginning to end, and the only book I like more than this one is the last one, not the last one, but the next one, The Wastelands. Um, and I have cer certain reasons for liking that one. We'll get to, into that when we get into that video. But have you read the second... Have you read the entire Dark Tower series? But moreover, have you read the second book in the series? If you did have, 
Let me know down in the comments below what you think. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another Stephen King review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!